check it out. Man. Check it out now. It was good while it lasted. Now these goddamn cheating ass record labels, man. You know they don't want to be seeing their albums and their artists flopping. So they've figured out a way to finesse the streaming game, hype up their streaming numbers, and skyrocket their singles to the top of the charts. We saw Republic Records do that bullshit with Post Malone Rockstar Joint. They basically put up a loop version on YouTube that only feature the chorus and when people listen to the whole shit and they looped it for like the, the duration of like 3 minutes and 38 seconds when people listen to that shit that was that was tallying at all types of different views on the charts now we saw Capitol Records cause it's a monkey see monkey do type of shit Capitol Records did the same thing with Motorsport of course we do know the controversy with Nicki and Cardi helped but that record as well shot up the charts now the guy who runs YouTube Music which is Lyra Cohen the guy who used to man's Young Thug which also used to run 300 records he says fuck out of here if I couldn't manipulate the shit when I was a label owner y'all niggas ain't about to manipulate shit when I'm running YouTube okay Lyra Cohen basically has closed this loophole that these motherfuckers could finesse or hack the goddamn streaming totally now, basically, this is what they put out, and they said, they said, loop videos that feature misleading and inaccurate metadata violate YouTube policies, and we're actively working to have them be removed. Further, any upload of a song intended to mislead a user, whether it's previewing a song, truncating a song, or looping a song, if it's posted onto YouTube platform to look like the original song, it will not contribute to any charts. That's what Lear Cohen says he said we've stopped that shit from happening okay now this is good because yo in the era of streaming let me tell you this people are already like investigating that there might be like fucking foreign like little sweatshops where people are paying people just to stream songs just that it could chart high right you gotta imagine a purchase you gotta get the money but a stream a nigga just gotta double click so it's open for manipulation and basically once you open shit for manipulation you gonna get hackers really doing this shit now by the way instagram is open for manipulation all these niggas you see growing at some ridiculous pace some of their record labels are agencies that fucking hacked the goddamn explore page that every fucking post they put up gets on the explore page basically when you deal with technology and streaming services even though they're within music they're tech companies it will be targeted by hackers and people who want to do what they want on the platform or get whatever result they're going to pay these hackers or try to find hacks and ways around doing it legitimately congratulations to Lear cohen for closing this loophole this shit was hella lame and i'm glad it's finally come to an end because these cheat motherfuckers when they don't want to compete they just pay a hacker or just create some strategy to cheat and then brag about their numbers later fuck out of here man get a comment box you guys like and subscribe to jackie that makes and, by the way, Republic Records already deleted that Post Malone loop shit. They deleted off YouTube because they know they're cracking down now. See what happens when niggas are forced to not take steroids? See? Loopholes closed, baby.